All right, what's up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. We're looking at SoFi, okay? SoFi, SoFly, love it when you go high. Oh man, don't go by too quickly, okay? So um, I wanna show you guys something known as bullish divergence. And uh, you know, pretty much every time we've had a bullish divergence on our daily chart here, had a very, very nice little pop, okay? Providing some great day trading and swing trading opportunities, okay? We need to dive into those right away, all right? Um, bearish divergence, okay, or, or I'm sorry, bullish divergence, essentially what we're going to be looking at is when the stock price is continuing to go lower, all right? It's getting lower and lower. We're creating lower lows is what it's known as, okay? But our RSI is either remaining at the same level and it's not creating lower lows or it's creating higher lows, all right? So that's the case right here. And nearly every time SoFi goes on the RSI to oversold territory at right around $30, we get a pop, okay? And um, it's been a pattern. It's repeated multiple times here, okay? So we're looking here, and uh, I just want to show you guys. All right, here's our first one. We're in oversold territory, 30 on the RSI, and boom, we get a nice rally, okay, for one, two, three days maybe, all right? Um, and then we create a lower low. OK, so we go even lower. All right. As now it's very clear. It's obvious. Boom. There's a downtrend line. So you guys can see we're creating lower lows. The RSI is slightly higher than what it was here. OK, uh, it bottomed out at like 28 over here. It's at 30 right here. So even though the stock went down, the RSI went higher. And we bounced. We bounced right off of that. And boom, what do we have? Another three days of bullish activity. OK. And we come down, we make lower lows again. So we come here, lower lows again, another downtrend arrow, okay? And what do you know? The RSI is right back here, right at 30, okay? So remaining stagnant. So I want you to see here, okay? So if we draw basically an, a downtrend from here to here, okay? And then we draw and we can draw a slight uptrend from here to here, all right? I'll make this one really fat so it's noticeable. But you can see, you know, it's starting at a lower point and slowly going higher. OK, um, so that's what's known as some slight bullish divergence. OK, not super strong. I mean, if we saw the trend line like this and that would be super strong bullish divergence. Right. We see it going really up. But when you take into the context that, man, this price, I mean, the price is just dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. And it's really not going below oversold territory. And every time we bounce really hard towards that oversold territory and we rally for about three days at least, okay? For two to three days, possibly more, all right? Now, with that being said, what do you think SoFi is going to do next, right? Let's look at this chart again, okay? And let's just see. What has it been doing? It's been dropping. Bounce a little bit and it drops. And it bounces a little bit and it drops. And it bounces a little bit and then it drops. And look what it's done now. It's bounced a little bit, guys. What do you think it's going to do next? Drop, okay? And also, we now have a daily gap down the fill. I love me some gaps, all right? If you watch my YouTube videos, you know I tend to chart up gaps all the time. Um, and I feel like it's something that a lot of people are sleeping on. And, you know, a lot of people just aren't letting other people know on YouTube, especially about these gaps and how they tend to fill 90 to 95% of the time historically in the stock market, okay? So what we're looking at here, all right, just where it's at right now, all the way down to the gap is gonna be a drop of 13%. Now, if you trade options and you're able to get an option with a nice um, expiration day and a nice strike, okay, that 13% drop can net you anywhere from 25 to 50% gains, depending on how fast the drop happens, okay? So what I want everyone to do is set an alert right above six dollars okay set an alert right here right around 609 okay you'd right click you go here create alert and you're gonna hit at or below so now you're gonna get an alert anytime that this thing goes at or below six dollars and ten cents and you're gonna put gap to fill okay so now you know that hey this alert went off we're really close to that gap down to six dollars and maybe i can come in here and get a quick day trade on the gap down on SoFi, okay? Because I already know that those gaps fill 90 to 95% of the time. It's just a matter of when, right? And gaps down fill in a bear market and gaps up fill in a bull market. Let's zoom out and take a look. 
What is SoFi in right now? Is it in a bull market or is it in a bear market? Right? It's clearly been in a bear market. It's on a huge downtrend. Um, you know, so that's not going to change overnight, right? That's not going to go away quickly and mysteriously. Okay. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Now I'm not, you know, praying for SoFi to go to zero. I love SoFi. Um, I got a link in the description for SoFi. If you sign up with SoFi, you can get $25 worth of crypto or stocks for free. Okay. Using my link. So, you know, I definitely like SoFi a lot as a company, but when I'm looking at the stock chart here, I'm seeing some, you know, some things. We're in a downtrend, okay? We have a gap down to fill. We just bounced off of our bullish divergence. And anytime we do that, it falls shortly afterwards, right? It may not fall immediately, okay? It may take another week or two. Again, SoFi may consolidate for a little bit, right? It may like this price level, it may like being close to seven bucks. It may want to get to seven, maybe close to $8 before we drop down. But you need to be prepared for the drop down um, because it will come. I just don't think it, it, it'll come super soon. Um, you know, if things stay bullish in the market, we could see it drop uh, or, you know, we could see this thing continue to rally. But don't forget the overall long term trend is still there. It's down. Um, and the trend is your friend. OK, so, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game. All right. And I'm just trying to put you guys on some game because SoFi is going to fill this gap down to six bucks. Um, you know, it's actually all the way down to like about five eighty five dollars, 80 cents. Um, and, you know, if you want to capitalize off of that or if you have a stock position size um, or holding, you know, if you have a stock position in SoFi, you may want to hedge yourself with some put option contracts. Um, as a way to, uh, you know, capitalize and make money, monetize the downtrend in SoFi. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you guys learned something in this video. And I do viewer requests every single week. So if you got a stock you want me to analyze, uh, let me know what stock you want in the next YouTube video. I do viewer requests every single week. I'll make it happen for you. Okay.